Okay, let's uh, just clean her up a little bit. We're just gonna clean up some of the backside here. Okay, we got the rough stuff off of here. Now I'm gonna just give it a four inch swirly. And I just basically hold this disc down flat. This is a worn out disc, it's nothing fancy. Okay, front side. There's a tool, and if you haven't guessed already, this is a straight a reach over straight edge. All right, we're going to be using this edge here as the straight edge. We're going to be reaching over here. Now we want to calibrate that. We want to make sure that that is lined up here. So we're going to we're going to go find a straight edge here now. Okay, we're taking a straight edge here, and we're uh, we're just holding it against there and sliding it until we get that point. And that point. And lining right up that. Now, this is what we got going on in here. We got three uh, hex drive bars for helical anchors uh, and, and 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 tools using you know heavy hydraulic outside. Um, equipment and we've taken straight edge and we've straightened uh, the hex all the way from end to end and we got up to this point here and um, 
we want to make sure that this coupling, which is welded to this point, uh, is it, that this bore is running true with the outside. And that's where I came up and wanted to create a straight edge that lets me grab the bar, which we, we have straightened that and it's up to our tolerances uh, and we're, we're happy with it. And then this tool is going to let us come back and we can see that that bore is down below that point there and opposite side here you can see how you know it's magnifying a little bit more this bore is about a sixteenth per side larger than the hex uh, so we we got to compensate for that but we do know that we're gonna have to bend put a bend in here to move this about an eighth of an inch uh, and it's repeating on the other sides as well so that's uh, that's what was the need for this gauge and uh, you know so we're gonna take it we've grabbed this the easiest one first and uh, looks like we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna put it in the press and we're gonna start tweaking this end here now to roll it over to see the other side okay I turned this around before I set it on the ground and grabbed the next one here I wanted to show you how the jig works and, and actually how close I was able to get this one here um, and, and the point is just sliding just inside sliding just inside and the last one here Alright, so we're happy with this one. <laughs> so the easiest one is done. Okay, here's our here's the other two we gotta work on. And this one's got a pretty good gradual sweep right in here. Looks like they did a bend and they just kinda left it here, okay? And uh, we're gonna do that one next. Alright, we're gonna save this one. After we get practice, we're gonna save on this one. <laughs> and uh, when I saw this bend here, I knew I had to make that gauge, and that was the main thing. But uh, you might as well make them all exactly the same, and uh, uh, that's going to be a winner. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I get ready to, I'm going to straighten that, this area down in here. I'm going to work my way back to this part here. But there's there's a good view sighting down uh, what i got to do. And, and really, I'm just taking my straight edge and I kind of find where it's rocking. And then I go back and forth and got my little block here. That's how I'm going to work it. <laughs> I, I looked down there, I thought that was a cool shot. So...
that'll be it. Get her done.